What's up everyone, welcome back to another episode of Dragon's Universe Lost Dragon Ball. Now right here we're going to go into the multi-summon as I have some dragon uh, tickets just sitting around. Dragon summoning tickets, so let's see what we get. Now we did get Trunks right here, so we already have Trunks, we got 70 shards of him. So for those of you who don't know, you can use uh, shards of characters as War Soul Essence in a way. But um, right here, we're going to use these uh, points on the ultimate move chest. For those of you that don't know, there are red moves in the game now. So for the sake of the video, I'm going to open up one at a time and hopefully we get some red moves. Right there, we did get a red move, so let's go. Now hopefully we can uh, open it again and get another red move. And um, yes, we do. Let's go. So two red moves on video for you guys. We got two red moves. Let me know in the comments below how many red moves you guys have for your teams uh, and, now, and stuff like that. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to equip them right now to the Gat Daizamasu, and these are going to be the main focal points that I'm going to be upgrading in the future. Just because um, now I thought purple was the highest tier, but then when they released red moves, now I know to focus mainly on the red moves now. But that's all right. So, um, you know, they're always going to add things to the game to make it a little more challenging, a little more uh, competitive and harder to achieve. So right here, I'm going to, uh, what's it called? Smelt the white and the green gear like we always do. I actually do have a lot of purple uh, moves that I could also probably smelt. But I'm going to try and upgrade this to the maximum that we can for now. Now, I have a lot of gold sitting around for any character that we can get in the future. Uh, preferably an SSS character or higher. Now, I'm just going to go into the bag right now and just open up some uh, of these shard chests and stuff like that. Just see what we get. I haven't been opening them uh, for a while. They've just been sitting in my bag. So I thought I might as well uh, do a video and just open them on camera for you all. Now, uh, what I do want to do is I'm going to go into the biography real quick. I'm going to skip it just to save some time, see how far we can get up to. And I believe we only beat three, so we did get a, um, a super bad soul. We got a purple move right there and nothing too much on that third one, but that's all right. Now, uh, I have been looking into the Divine Domain for the Jirin, as uh, this is who I've been redeeming these points on. So, hopefully, in this video, we can upgrade the Divine Domain for Jirin and get his new ability, which I'll show right now on screen. So, basically, once we get it up to the 5 star, I believe, of the Kai's Blessing, he's able to gain HP back whenever a warrior dies. That could be your teammate, that could be an enemy. He gains, I believe... Uh, 10 to 12 percent if i'm not mistaken so now what we do need to do is upgrade um the moves or equip moves on him that it reaches level 400 or higher but i'm going to go into the other blessing right here and try and beat it so we have two characters in the front two characters in the back that is because jirin who we're going up against actually has an ability obviously where he attacks a row so it is better if you have two characters in the front and back and don't stack all your uh three characters in the front row because then jirin is just going to do a lot of damage to you guys but this should be just um, a pretty simple fight if we get our ultimate off with the hit in the back row but yeah the jirin once we uh, get those moves equipped to him he's going to be able to gain hp back which is going to be um pretty good ability in my opinion this is what makes the jirin really good and the reason for that is because by him gaining the life back over the course of a battle, he'll more likely uh, be able to survive and also get his other ability where if he stays on a field for more than three rounds, he gets that attack buff increase. So it makes more sense upgrading the, the Divine Domain for him. So uh, once we beat this, it should just uh, be this turn that the hit will finish him off. And there we go. So we got that blessing cleared. It is the Grand Kai's blessing we just unlocked. So that's the next thing we're going to be farming up for for him. Now, I'm going to quickly go and uh, probably have to equip the moves from Gatai Zamasu onto the Jiren in order to get that uh, get the moves up to level 400. But we're going to do that real quick. So I'm going to uh, skip real quick and come right back. So there we go. We do have the moves equipped onto him. So what I'm going to do is click use. And there we go. The effect is enabled. So right there, chance to reduce a direct damage. Whenever a warrior dies, he gains HP back, which is really nice. And I believe this spells any debuffs. So uh, what I want to do, I want to go into the cross server arena, test it out right now. We might as well. I want to see what the ability is looking like. So we're going to take on King Pain from server 35 and let's go. Now I actually have been messing around with my teams in this cross server arena. I mainly put now my uh, stronger fighters in the second team just because I noticed that I do have lower priority than most people that I... Uh, fight within the crossover arena like uh, for example this opponent has more priority than me so i'll put my gata zumasu kid boo and jirin and majin boo in the second team just because so that when they come in they're able to do their ultimates right away on uh, you know undamaged 
and they're able to probably take out a few enemies in the process of doing that and then uh, sort of come out with like a clean slate in a way. So this team, um, this first team I have out here, basically just going to do as much damage as I can. I don't um, expect them to win. But uh, yeah, you do notice that uh, I have that Super Saiyan God Goku I have been upgrading. He is now Orange 2 or Gold 2, whatever you like to call it. But um, he's looking pretty good. I, he's only still 4 star though. So uh, I do need to get more APT 14 shards for him and get him to 5 star to unlock the damage uh, increase. So um, yeah, right here you can see him do his ultimate move right here. Not that much damage, but uh, he does get that double burn off, so it does uh, pay off. He also gets that little damage shield, so you see he's not going to be taking as much damage here compared to the, the Bugo tanks. But yeah, so this team is probably going to end up dying, but the bread and butter and what we're hoping for and going to see the ability in the Jirin coming soon. So let's go see. So we're going to start off with the Gata Zamasu doing his ultimate. And let's see, he's able to take out one or two people, and you saw the Jirin right there gained like 47k back. So I guess when it comes to the Jiren, because he gains a percentage of his HP back with this ability, you do want to maximize the amount of HP he has, obviously. So uh, putting moves on him, that will increase his HP, increasing the Super Bad Souls or the Esoterica's, one of those that increases HP. So um, because it's HP uh, percentage-wise, so if he gains, you know, if he has like 300,000 health, they obviously gain more health. I think Bond has like 180k health. So obviously, the more health he has, the more he'll gain back when and when uh, when a character dies. That's really good. So you see, he's slowly still gaining HP back, and he's tanking pretty well. So um, he's gonna be a problem if uh, we get him going during this fight. This uh, person does have pretty strong characters, also. Um, so we're gonna see what happens. So Jiren's gonna lower the defense right now. We're gonna have Vegeta increase the crit rate. But yeah, the main thing is, we're just hoping that Jirin can stay alive for three rounds. So then he'll probably have uh, more HP to gain back because some characters will probably end up dying. And then he'll also get that attack boost. So now we do hope that this Majin Buu can come back to life because Super Saiyan God, uh, Super Saiyan God Blue Goku does hit pretty hard. So you saw the Majin Buu fall down right there. He also did take out the uh, Gata Zumasu. So both are going to be coming back to life. And hopefully we can get some stuns with the Majin Buu. So let's see right here. So Jiren's actually going to do his ultimate first. I believe uh, oh, he took out... He didn't take out any, but the Gate Zamasu or the Goku Black did take out one. So Jiren gained health back right there, which is really nice. And another character is going to fall, so Jiren gained even more health. So he's gaining like 50k back, 100k, oh, 150k right there just by the three people dying. So um, looking pretty good. And remember, next round, if he does his ultimate, he's going to get that attack boost. Uh, so he didn't do his ultimate this turn, but that's alright. We got uh, Majum Gina getting a Paralyze right there. And uh, we're looking pretty good. Uh, the Jiren is gaining HP back slowly but surely, and he's stacking up his defense. So it's going to be even harder to take him out. So uh, we still have the Kid Buu and the Majin Vegeta in the back row. So I'm pretty sure we should win this fight. Jiren's going to do his ultimate now with the increased attack. And you see him just gaining health back. He's just, he's just a monster. But yeah, that's pretty much the fight right there. Um, I'm actually pretty impressed with his abilities. Um, that's pretty much going to wrap up this episode of Dragon's Universe Lost Dragon Ball. Hope you guys all enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe for more content. And as always, I'm out. Later.